morning everyone or good afternoon depending on where you're at and what country and uh, what part of the United States since I'm in the US um, I thought today we'd make spaghetti with fresh vegetables and I've got the spaghetti boiling so we've got some fresh and it'll be two videos but we got some fresh parsley 10 pieces fresh cilantro 10 pieces, 7 pieces of celery, an onion, 3 carrots, and a clove of garlic. And let me get situated here. And I hope everybody is enjoying this gorgeous Sunday. I know I am. And uh, what did I do with the, oh, our ground turkey? So we're gonna have some ground turkey here. Get in the pan. We'll just start chopping away. Yeah, I thought we haven't done spaghetti, but this is a different version, and also it's all fresh. Usually, a lot of times I use like tomatoes, but this is just a little different. This is really like garden spaghetti, garden vegetable spaghetti is what I'll call it because it's all really fresh, you know vegetables from the garden so cut our garlic I always have to have a fresh clove of garlic because garlic just I love the smell of garlic We're not going to put the vegetables in to brown the meat. We're going to wait till after we brown the meat, and then we'll put the vegetables in. And uh, that's what we'll do. And then... spaghetti in a while and it's like ugh. and this is different a different version um you know you can add whatever you want you can just make it with all you can make it vegetarian with no meat um i just wanted because it's like well, i have all these vegetables and it'll be time for me to go to the market again and i try to use up everything i have in the refrigerator because i always buy it for the month and I just go to Myers, you know, I pick up certain things, Myers, certain things at Kroger's, Meat Market, Walmart. Because in my part of the United States, that's what we have. Um, some people tell me when they're down in, in the southern parts of the thing, they don't have that. Some of the stores, so they have like Targets, I guess, have groceries where some of our Targets up here don't. Um, so it's pretty cool. But, you know, you can just go to the store and you're using regular ingredients. You don't have to buy, you know, fancy stuff. And then we're going to use a... I season the taste, like I'm going to tell everybody, season the taste, I really don't measure, but we're just going to have you start with one teaspoon, because a teaspoon, there's nothing hardly, and then you can go from there on everything. On the, um, I use a little bit of a dash of lemon juice in Worcestershire when I brown, and we use all our seasonings, but I always, ugh, soy sauce, yeah, that's really nice, so. But yes, I do use that because I like the flavors, and plus there's zero calories. And you just go like this. But I would measure a teaspoon, and I'm pretty sure it would probably that would be a good start. Because we're going to use all our seasonings. Then we're going to use some sea salt. 
this year you won't use again. So I can tell you that. Pepper you will. Accent you won't, but you're gonna use it the first time. And I would start with a teaspoon, like I said, I just season to taste. I really never measure, but I say if you go with a teaspoon, that would be good. Um, and our seasoned salt. Do some cumin. I'm gonna put a dash of allspice. Oh. But you're not gonna use that again either. Italian seasoning. And of course, garlic powder. And a little bit of celery salt. That's it. And we're going to use a little bit of Hungarian paprika. About a teaspoon. Then we're going to brown our meat. Let me get this straightened out because we are going to be ready for that. And where is my container? So I'll brown our meat here. And And you're going to use two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. I need to write that down because if I don't, I'll forget. But all together, you're going to use four. So it'll be 40 calories for that. But uh, we are going to browning our meat.
think it's ready. But we'll see. But let me try it anyways. Not done. While that is browning, what we will do is come over here and start cutting our vegetables so that they are ready to go in the tomato sauce. And I just love the fresh vegetables because I think even if I buy frozen ones, I just like vegetables in my food because, you know, vegetables is really good for you and it's healthy. Second, I just am not one for plain spaghetti. I'm not one for plain goulash, you know, spaghetti goulash as we call it. You know, there's many variations and, um... I always taste it just to make sure I got enough seasonings for the browning. I do. Go. So, we'll drain. I'll be right back and we'll drain. <laughs> 